Well, a student from Western Michigan University is dead after police say she was hit by a suspected drunk driver over the weekend who kept going. This is the second student killed by someone driving under the influence in the last year. Tonight, we're speaking to the victim's roommates who say she had so much life to live. She had a very contagious smile and laugh and was just such a great friend to everyone. 21-year-old Kaylee Gansberg from Illinois was studying fine arts and photography at Western Michigan University, hoping to one day travel the world and photograph architecture. She had her priorities straight. She liked to go out and have fun. So, good influence. Yeah, a us. good influence on us, though, like, especially with, like, schooling and everything. Her roommates Eileen and Ashley say she was set to graduate next spring, but those dreams were cut short after she was hit and killed by a suspected drunk driver early Saturday morning on West Michigan Avenue. The first call that we got was when she was hit by the car initially, and that was, like, I think my heart sunk like really, really deep into my stomach. We were literally upstairs just munching on food and waiting for them to get back. And we didn't think it was real at first. They say they had just seen Kaylee five minutes before it happened. She had left with a friend to grab food. We were just praying that she was going to make it and we were really hopeful she would. Kaylee later died at the hospital. Since then, friends have honored her with a vigil, and a GoFundMe was created, already raising more than $33,000. But it doesn't stop there. Her roommates are hoping to get an honorary degree or scholarship in Kaylee's name, and a petition has been created to address safety concerns on campus. More lights, uh, crosswalks, crosswalks, street lights, road bumps. Yeah, it's. It's pretty dark out on our road. As for the person who took the life of their roommate and close friend. They deserve to be locked up. And I mean, they took a bright girl's like who had a bright future, everything like they took everything away from her, her family, us, our community as a school, uh, all of us like it's it doesn't seem fair. The 22-year-old suspect was later found and taken into custody. So far, he hasn't been identified. As for the crash last year that killed 19-year-old Bailey Broderick, charges were filed against the accused driver in that case earlier this year.